Welcome back to Modern with Magic Aids, where we fondle the modern metagame as if it were our very own Hillbilly Daughter. A is requested. It is a Tron deck, but not just any Tron deck. It is a blue-green Tron deck with not one hardlock combo, not two hardlock combos, but three hardlock combos. And you know what that means. Three times the daughter fondling. Now let's go through the combos. First of all, we have Ensnaring Bridge with Bottle Cloister. Cloister draws a card each turn, and comboed with Bridge means our opponent can't attack at all. But then there is the new Karn, which makes our opponent's artifact not able to activate, which we combo with Lab. And other than our opponent's creatures attacking, everything of theirs is hardlock, especially their land. And now finally, with blue added to the deck, we have Mindslaver. Unlike the other two combos in the deck, if all the pieces are out, Mindslaver will outright win the game with an infinite loop. And for that to work, we will need blue mana, that is why we have Breeding Pool, and more importantly, Academy Rune, which puts an artifact card in our graveyard on top of our library. We sacrifice Mindslaver, take control of our opponent's turn, and then on each of our turns, we get back Mindslaver with Academy Rune, resulting in our opponent beating themselves. As for the rest of the deck, we have one All's Dust, one Ballista, the typical Tron pieces, and two Blast Zones. As for the sideboard, we have a lot of neat tricks, but they are pretty self-explanatory. So that is the deck, and now let's get to the gameplay. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And now, here's the gameplay. Opening hand, no land, so we're gonna mull. Mm, this could be bad, but we'll keep. Pop. And now things are looking pretty good. A disease? Oh, well, probably Phoenix. So we'll see if we can outspeed them. Back on opponent's turn, thing in the ice. That ain't gonna cut it, because we have a Karn. Exile. And back to our opponent. Manamorphose. Thought scour. Another Manamorphose. I have loading. Putting an arc light in graveyard. And another Faithless Looting, but only one Phoenix. So we're gonna lose the Karn, but now we have this Karn. So I say the smart move here, play Ballista, star and then back to them. We'll make sure it's safe before playing these guys. And now double ping that and a Drake. Okay, okay. So in response to that, I think we gotta do this. Play the bridge and then the Karn. But in case they have a bolt, we'll just up it this turn. And back to our opponent. Opponent flashes back, Faith is looting. Uh-oh. Opponent goes with the bolt and a second bolt. Fine. And back on our turn, we shall play Ugin. And to that, our opponent concedes. So game two it is. Game two, the only change made is they put in a Grafdigger's Cage for a Cloister. And this hand here, do we keep it? And we do have the combo in hand, but they could have a braid. They usually run two of braid. I suppose we can do better. And yeah, I'll keep this. We'll start things off with star and pass back. Opponent thought scours. Oh, there's a blood moon there. And opponent throws out thing in the ice. Okay, so back on our turn, ancient stirrings. Oh, nice. So instead of stirrings, let's go with the sylvan scrying. Grabbing tower. And then we pass back. Opponent fires manamorphose. Another manamorphose. And then faithless looting. And a lightning bolt. We'll get back that phoenix. 13 damage in one turn is too much. I'm not sure our butthole can take it, but we shall see. Bridge, sphere, map. And back to our opponent. Oh, okay, they got us. So we're going to game three. Game three, no change to sideboard. Opening hand, uh, we can do better. Mole. Yeah, okay, okay, we can keep this. And we'll see if we can endure. I don't fire a slide of hand. Back in our turn, I guess we go Sylvan Scrying. Kind of slows things down, but let's do it. And back to our opponent. I don't fire a thing in the ice. And then on our turn, might as well Sylvan Scrying. Grabbing a forest in case they have Blood Moon. And back to our opponent. And opponent goes Manamorphose. Slide of hand. Faithless looting. And another Faithless looting. And opponent gets back Phoenix to deal 10 damage this turn. And ooh. Ooh, perhaps there is hope. We shall play Ugin. Exile. And let's see if our opponent can take us out. It's one bolt away from dying. And we're not that far away from dying ourselves. But through the power of big dick energy, I believe we can win. And there's that blood moon. That is fine. So now we'll deal three. Play Karn. And nothing in our sideboard costs one, but we'll just go ahead and grab the lattice. Back to our opponent. Now our opponent knows the lattice is coming, just like his mama. So to make things extra kinky, let's do this. Grab spell sky. Play spell sky. And then a new Karn. And we'll up it to protect it. Deal three. Oh, they braid it. Sure. I wonder if that means they have a second one, though. An opponent plays Pyromancer Ascension. Interesting. So how should we approach this? I say we play it safe. We'll exile the moon. Attempt the lattice. Mm, they probably have a braid. Yeah. And we might as well grab Chalice, as well as a bridge. And if that doesn't do it, then I don't know what will. Opponent plays Manamorphose. And there's the concede. All right, so we're able to take out Phoenix, which is pretty hard to do, considering how fast their deck can be. So in other words, this match made me hoppy in Ponce, as it should. But now on to the next one. Opening hand, we got two Tron lands and a map, so we'll keep... Uh, turn one ritual up. Okay. Well, all right. You know, I think we'll keep them guessing what we are and just go to game two. Game two, no change to sideboard. We have Tron in hand. So we'll keep. Start with Sphere and pass back. I'm going to play that. And Pasha's back. Ancient Stirring's nice. Fire the Stirring. Everything here is balls, but might as well grab the bridge as a backup and then back to opponent. Ritual. Gravel Master, sure. A Queef that small is tolerable. And ooh, do we all as dust for just one thing? Nebulista. Taking out that hoe. And back to opponent. We take one from there. And what does he use? Three damage to each creature, sure. Because we can do these. Take that. What shall they do now? Andra, okay. That's a pretty big queef. But realizing they've been out queefed, our opponent concedes. So game three it is. Opening hand, not great. We have two Tron pieces, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a turn one 
chalice yeah i'll keep it because even if they do turn one chalice yep we don't really need to draw cards for this as much so let the grind begin i'm gonna play spyglass taunt names ugin sure oh this is not muy grande might as well start thinning out our hand in case we hit ensnaring bridge back to has a red okay so we take five and karn interesting interesting so lose the karn but we can grab ensnaring bridge and then pass back mm, chandra so karn goes to jesus chandra hits us for two then we'll play the bridge dump this hoe and then back to our opponent opponent has us for two uh this isn't looking good Man, just dump our hand oh not good at all and it looks like our opponent's got us because even if we pull something good here yeah anything short of tron for all his dust ain't gonna cut it at turn one chalice though even if we did have nature's claim because they did it turn one we couldn't do anything to stop it okay we can't win them all opening hand only one mine so we're gonna mull and yes yes very nice and it looks like it's blue white control this might be difficult let's fire this and then stirring and there's our tron land and then we'll finish up the turn with a relic and pass back and back on our turn tron lands we play karn they probably have counter but we'll lean into it yeah okay back to our opponent when it passes back a tower hmm instead of ugin let's play it safe and go with the star engineering bridge we'll first play a relic then a bridge and pass back to our opponent well what is these jays uh oh for them and ooh, even better because here's the hard lock and with their lands and jace unable to tap our opponent gives us the concede in game two the only thing i sideboarded in was a defense grid dumping one bridge and this hand here looks really good so we'll keep starting with relic and pass back rooting pool but we'll put out the mine playing this and back to our opponent and opponent fires off and ooh, fields are ruined okay opponent fires it we'll fire this and we'll see if we can hit something there's a mine play the mine and pass back oh another field of ruin okay so i guess we just gotta pass back uh oh we're getting surgical we'll fire the relic in response uh oh but another surgical so no tron for us this game one eternity later and finally it looks like we have an opening here we shall fire all's dust and then pass back hmm, but nothing from our opponent so let's try the karn uh oh spaghettios at least we can play the ballista and back to our opponent uh oh path to exile we'll ping them for three and on our upkeep we'll put ballista on top of our deck we'll see if we can get away with it but only put ballista on two and nice it worked okay cool hmm they return defense grid to hand and draw a card sure well that's pretty good stony silence but we can match that queef with blast zone and might as well put it on this one as well and a karn interesting well let's do this swing for one and after no blocks we'll fire this and then put a counter on it and then pass back nap caster mage okay getting back cryptic bouncing the bridge dawnbringer sure this shall be interesting back on our turn let's try defense grid it hits and then bridge okay they tricky tricky but we can also be the tricky tricky because we play the karn grabbing spell sky and pass back so unfortunately we lose the karn but we're getting there kind of back on our turn we'll try the ugin it hits nice and exile five or less and then back to opponent when it turns out into creature swings but we'll take it out with ghost quarter dragon lord ojitai well i think our best bet here put bridge on top of our deck draw the bridge play the bridge and hit our opponent for three and might as well fire this boom boom and back to our opponent when it plays jace they draw and it's a fairy okay but we're in a good position here with the ballista because <laughs> now we do these boom and then redirect to boom that is muy grande pulling relic nice oh we shall deal three here play the relic fire the relic and karn yeah i'll try it and it hit muy grande muy grande and opponent had a jace in hand it was nice that we were able to take that out and finally there is the concede and the match there is evidence that academy runes does help at times because it kept allowing us to get ballista back and that was muy grande but now on to the next one opening hand no lands so we're gonna mole all right that seems good enough and that will do it start with the map pass back i'm gonna play discovery so this is like a grizzle brand deck we shall see oh that could be tempting i think we gotta play it safe and play the relic yep and then pass back to our opponent opponent goes faithless looting two goros in graveyard so they are reanimate deck so back on our turn play the star and pass back to our opponent opponent goes faithless looting oh that's lame they concede because of the relic fine game two the only sideboard thing i brought in was grafticker's cage dumping one bottle cloister and this hand here no land so we mull this mm, it's pretty bad mull oh my god mull nah. this blows all right so far nothing will our opponent have anything collective brutality sure then they pass back <laughs> that be muy grande and since they're stuck on two lands we'll do this well they must have not like that because they conceded so it wasn't that fun so all in all the deck seems to be winning more than it's losing but now the question is is blue necessary and it's really hard to tell because on one hand academy rune seems pretty good being able to get back key artifacts like ballista but we never got to see mind slaver so i don't really know how good mind slaver is i mean it seems pretty good but on the other hand it would be nice to put actual sideboard cards in the sideboard like nature's claim or thrag tusk and getting rid of mind slaver could make room for one of those cards but it is hard to say the deck does feel like one of those those decks that you can take to FNM and be like, I got three hard lock combos in my deck. So I'll leave it to you guys to decide whether this version or the mono green version is better. But with that, we wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I hope you have a great day.
Bye, have a great time.